Ateneo de Zamboanga University holds the Ads of Service Awards ceremony to honor the men and women whose selfless and noble years of service in the Ateneo helped the university achieve its mission in education, Prodeo et Patria. The Service Awards ceremony also pays tribute to the retirees who have reached a respectable milestone of selfless service and commitment to the Ateneo community. These awards are given in recognition of the employees' years of service in the Ateneo de Zamboanga University as of July 31, 2020. They are tokens of appreciation from the university and are independent of the official computation of years of service to determine retirement and other benefits. This year's celebration is unique as the ADSU Service Awards Ceremony goes virtual, bringing together every member of the Ateneo community despite the challenges of the times. So please, sit back, relax, and together, let's immerse ourselves in the celebration. I am your host, Elijah Marvin Guanco, welcoming you to the Ateneo de Zamboanga University Service Awards Ceremony 2020. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as I should. To give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest. And ask not for reward Save that of knowing That I do Your most holy As I should To give and not to count the cost To fight and not to heed the wounds To toil and not to seek for rest To labor and ask not for reward Save that of knowing That I do
pandemic or no pandemic, tuloy ang service awards. COVID or no COVID, our annual service award recognition pushes through. This is one of ADZU's finest events, most meaningful celebrations, most significant traditions. Once again, our hearts are filled with gratitude. Our awardees and retirees are grateful that they have reached this point of years of service, 5, 10, 15, and more years. And they have made it this long, whole and healthy. We are grateful for them, our dear awardees, for their years upon years of dedication for their work in Ateneo. Our whole university community is grateful for them, for their love and service to Ateneo, for their commitment to our mission, Prodeo et Patria. We are all grateful. This is a festival of gratitude. This is an Ateneo Festa, an Atfest of Thanksgiving. We don't forget that we all all this to our God for giving us this grace of thanksgiving. For everything is gift, simply and profoundly gift. Thank you for this great gift, this grace and blessing. And not to forget too, we owe to our patron saint, Saint Ignatius, whose feast we celebrate today, for inspiring us to be generous, to be self-giving, to give with all our majesty, with all our faith. On behalf of the Ateneo de Zamboanga University, thank you to our awardees. Thank you for deeply inspiring us. Thank you for your long years of love and service. Congratulations to all of you. Here are the 2020 Service Awardees. Five years of service. Muammar S. Abduhasan. Muhammad A. Abutazi. R. V. G. Arcelias. Tia Erika M. Arquiza. Marlon C. Aspasio. Abubakar T. Badiri. Rhea Joy A. Cabato. Jennifer Violet A. Cabiles. Soledad Pamela R. Dagio. Ryan D. Delenia. Andrew T. Domingo. Mirasol S. Elo. Marjorie S. Emanuel. Rovic John F. Eslau. Mary Jane A. Galang SRA. Giovanni Paolo C. Jimena. Shelalane T. Graho. Jessaline Camille L. Hilado. Charfel C. Hudaya. Milrose J. Cookie. Michael L. Liadones. Andy A. Maseren. Rexy V. Magsayo. Annaline L. Melano.
Ryan Joseph A. Murcia. Father Arnel T. Ong of the Society of Jesus. Aleli J. Ramiliano. Aris J. B. Reyes. Genevic Y. Romo. Shaldian D. Wee. Anne Catherine D. Yu. Daniel Mark D. Yumol. Ten years of service. Fatima Virginia N. Alamia. Joselito S. Araneta. Maria Christine P. Atilano. Ronald L. Atilano. Urdoha M. Baginda. Danica Priscille A. Bongat. Maria Fatima C. Concepcion. John Paul T. Cuevas. Herbert V. Dario. Perilyn C. Fabia. Jericho G. Fernandez. Marlon M. Madrazo. Rosel H. Manuel. Marco Alfino V. Miranda. Christine B. Rabara. Maricel B. Ramonal. Danny P. Ramirez. Roel F. Reyes. Irene Marie C. Santa Teresa. Fifteen years of service. Eileen S. Absara. Maria Beliza E. Araneta. Erwin M. Barrios. Father Francisco R. Mustamante of the Society of Jesus. Ana Lorna E. Engrasha. Modesta A. Gonzaga. Grace Ann L. Lagura. Julius C. Lapasara. Cheryl J. Makaraeg. Cesar Jeffrey G. Masilungan. Elsie P. Miguel.
Gurley D. Napaw. Irene I. Olivar. Leia M. Panagiton. Sophia H. Pisan. Maria Victoria T. Quijano. Mark Zuriel R. Rabanal. Eva R. Relao. Rodel M. Salgados. Maria Luisa U. Sousa. Elena M. Chera. Delma Catherine T. Usman. Ruvelinda Grace A. Uy.
20 years of service. Marlon M. Araneta Maynard R. Magdasos Norma A. Baluka Maria Cristina A. Cañones Gerald James Y. Ebal Esperanza S. Estrada Joffrey M. Fabian Jeremy J. Fernando Mohamed Noor A. Kadi Maria Johanna R. Landerito Lady Ivy B. Manyalak May Lillian T. Maravillas Leonila R. Miguel Rosemary S. Natividad Manuela E. Kimson Ray S. Reyes Ranulfo S. Senieres Cecil B. Simbahon René S. Tiblani Judith Joy V. Tugade Myra B. Urbano Twenty-five years of service Mary Shildred D. Angeles Marcelina C. Ascura Maureen F. Bellio Claribel C. Concepcion Eloino John R. Fernandez Virginia C. Guiniabo Perla S. Ledesma Francis J. S. Leonardo Nelson T. Miro Cindy Ann J. Quayle Nestor C. Rabuya Nympha T. Rojas Elena B. Segurigan Rosana P. Solamo Alexander S. Sorinio Thirty years of service Maridel A. Balakbat Virginia Q. De La Cruz 
Maria Adeliza F. Deles. Marilu D. Drapiza. Felicito D. Gagantin. Servando D. Halili Jr. Flor P. San Luis. of service. Josephine L. Dajuela Ruth E. Vesagas Our beloved retirees Apolonio G. Enriquez Maria Zenaida K. Fuentes Merlita C. Garcia Gertrude G. Michael Maria Lourdes E. Porras Mary Ann F. Rubio
Eleanor D. Velasco. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now listen to some words from our beloved retirees. Ateneo de Sambuanga University President, Father Carrel San Juan, distinguished members of the University Board of Trustees, University administrators and officials, the Jesuit community, faculty and staff, my colleagues, students, and friends in the Ateneo de Sambuanga University community, good afternoon. I remember a few years ago, before the barangay elections, a young boy in our community approached me saying, Sir, pabor bota ko nel demio lola para kagawad. Retarded teacher eh, sir. Alas, now I too am about to be retarded. And I fear it so much because I am a musician and in music to retard or retardando means to gradually get slower and slower and I do not intend to do a retardando just so soon as I'm about to close my career as bandmaster of the Ateneo of Sambuanga University concert band I look back at my life and try to see where I've gone through. I remember when I first came to work here, my intention was just to stay for a year or two and use my experience here as a leverage to be able to land on a job as bandmaster in one of the military bands in a unit of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. And so I came but when the opportunity finally came in 1994, when a general and two colonels in the Philippine National Police encouraged me to apply for a lateral entry as an officer in the PNP to handle one of their bands and that they will back me up, I was not interested anymore. By then, after having worked for the Ateneo, for three years, I felt that I have already established myself here as bandmaster and I have learned to enjoy and love my work so much. Moreover, my eldest child was about to go to school and I wanted my children to get the Ateneo education, the same education that I received. And that because Ateneo has a scholarship program for children of its employees, I could guarantee my children's education if I stayed. I stayed because I have found fulfillment in teaching young students to play an instrument, watch them mature and grow as musicians, and help them earn a scholarship through high school and college. I stayed because then University President Father Bill Kreutz, with his high expectations, demanded so much from me and the band musically that I had to improve myself more and more. And after that, and for that, I'm so grateful. The ever musically enthusiastic Father Pepe Bakatan, who really went out of his way to solicit instruments even old ones for the band, for us to improve our sound. He also brought in a library of learning materials and organized workshops for the band. He gave the kind of support that really motivates one to work harder. Thank you very much, Father Pepe. Teaching the band for me became my main form of entertainment. My hobby became my work. My main source of income too. 
we don't get rich financially working in the Ateneo, but we get rich with fulfillment. Now I know the meaning of my life as a musician, bandmaster, and teacher. After having watched countless band members graduate from college, so many professionals made from music. Now I know why I stayed for so long. Father Tony Moreno, when he was our university president, showed that he cared so much for Adsu Band when he facilitated our concert tour of five cities, Davao, Cagayan de Oro, Naga, Manila, and Cebu. The experience will forever be cherished by the band members. Thank you, Father Tony. After the tragic brief of Jim Fire in 2016, Father Karel made it his priority to be able to procure a new set of instruments for the band. And so, after only four months, the band was again on the go. Thank you very much, Father Karel. All this and more really show that Ateneo cares. I would also like to thank the people in the ADSO community who supported me in all my endeavors. Sir Francis J. Leonardo, former Director of Student Affairs, for doing all the work and being with us during our concert tours. Sir Kiko Miranda, one of my the son of one of my college friends, for always being here with us with all his artistic prowess. Mr. Rogelio Buenvenida, my brother, for being a second father to the band all these years. And most of all, Mr. Dicky Limbaga, my compare, and I remember Sir Jess Invierno, both of them former deans of student affairs, for pirating me from Basilan and planting me here in the Ateneo. Now, my own children have all graduated from the Ateneo College, products of the children of employees scholarship and the band scholarship programs. My eldest, who graduated from the College of Nursing in 2012, went on to become a doctor. My second child, who graduated with a BS in Accountancy degree in 2014, is now a CPA. And my youngest child, who got two degrees, Accounting Technology and Management Accountancy in 2016, is now in her final year in law school. My wife, Belle, has earned her doctorate degree last year. Ateneo, what more could I ask? And so I stayed. Thank you all very much. Muchisimas gracias, Ateneo. Deo gracias. Father Caril San Juan, our president, the Ateneo administration, my colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. To the organizers, thank you for this honor to deliver this message, this 2020 Annual Service Award Program. Two days ago was just an ordinary day until I received a message that I am going to give a retiree's message. Huh? Retiree? I am one of the retirees this school year 2020-2021 and I realize that I will be turning 60, 60 years old and everything flashback. After passing the licensure exam for nurses, I work as company nurse then work at Sambuanga Doctors Hospital and became head nurse of nursery department. 
It was in 1988 when my nursing profession changed course. I became a teacher. Our nursing dean, Mrs. Lo Ellen Asario, asked me if I am interested to teach her at Ateneo. Teaching was not in my mind the time. But I remembered my husband telling me, when you will be a teacher, you will have more time with the family, semestral break, Christmas vacation, the long summer vacation, Sundays and holidays, and every night you will be home. And everything was history. 32 years have passed. Looking back, Ateneo gave more. It provided me personal growth as a teacher and as a person. It provided financial assistance when I needed. It provided quality education to my three children, free tuition from kindergarten to college. My eldest son is now a demand planning manager of a pharmaceutical distribution company. My daughter, a nurse, is an officer in the Philippine Air Force, and my youngest son is an electronics engineer now in Tokyo, Japan. I have been privileged to be part in molding many, many young people to be nurses, having met some of them and listening to their appreciation and thanks for their success gave me a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. Hearing them say, You look young. Hindi ka man tumatanda, ma'am. And maganda ka pa rin. I hope it's true. Makes me feel young and not getting old. You will not feel old when every year you will be with young people. I've been asked what I am going to do after. If given the opportunity, I would like to teach a few more years. Travel, travel to places I wanted to go with my husband. Visit my children and take a more active participation in the church activities that I am doing now. I'll improve my skill in sewing. Meron na akong electric sewing machine. I will enjoy life without day off. Thank you, Ateneo, for giving me the opportunity to be part of this prestigious institution. Thank you to my colleagues for the support, friendship, and for the shared resources, snacks and lunch, the shared experiences with you will never be forgotten. Thank you, and let us continue to live Prodeo et Patria through this new normal. It's an honor and privilege to have taught in the Ateneo for 40 years. What made me stay this long in the Ateneo? First, my love for teaching. Teaching has been my passion since childhood. Second is I love molding the youth and see them successful. Third, I have the full support of my colleagues, young and old. Then I have the guidance and care of my superiors. Ateneo has never left me. It has given me so many opportunities to grow professionally, emotionally, and above all, spiritually. To the young teachers out there, I urge you to think twice before you leave the Ateneo. You may not be rich in the Ateneo in terms of money, 
but you will be rich in terms of the values instilled in you by the Ateneo. These values are, you have the Hajis, doing more than what is expected, Kura Personalis, the love and care for others, and the service to God and men. Life in the Ateneo is challenging but fulfilling. Happy Feast Day, St. Ignatius of Loyola. Thank you to our retirees and all the best with your retirement. Your contributions throughout your service in the Ateneo de Zamboanga University made a significant impact on the school and our students. This concludes the 2020 Service Awards Ceremony. Congratulations to all the awardees and may you continue to serve as an inspiration to our young faculty and staff. As we end this virtual gathering, I invite you to sing with us, El Animo Ateneo. Oh,